Just because you say something emphatically doesn't make it true. Just because you do this with your hands doesn't make it true either. Don't jump at me because I will win. This is my life. Turn it down. So I'm trying to eat my chicken wings over here. Let her have her darn chicken wings. That's a scene for what's to come. What's to come on The Real Housewives of Orange County? It's getting spicy on season 17 of the hit Bravo series. Here to talk about everything Housewives and more, Heather Dubrow. Nice to have you back. Hi, thanks for having me. So why is everybody, they're, they're coming after you, Heather. Every time I look at the show, you're the target. You know what's crazy? I had no idea, like literally. I would get into a situation, we'd be at a party, and all of a sudden, everything would go south. And I, I was like, I felt like I was constantly apologizing and constantly playing catch up. But then you have to look at it and say, okay, let me be self-actualized. Is it a me problem? Is it a you problem? Is you it? know, because usually it lies somewhere in the middle. No, I, I, if you're, you know, if you're watching along in tonight's show, especially, pay special close attention to the details of what everyone says to each other. Anything about Taylor? Because Taylor's after you because you'd invited her to the birthday party. Why didn't you invite her to the birthday party? I just saw she gave that interview. Why didn't you invite her to your birthday party? I'm going to tell you why. Because at the holidays last year, yeah. I invited all the girls to have a dinner, because yeah. I thought it would be nice for all of us to get together as right. a cast. Tamara said she didn't want to come, because she didn't want to be fake, and she didn't want to go with me. Okay. And Shannon just didn't want to come or was busy. And so I said, fine, and we all, the rest of us went out. And then two nights later, uh, Tamara and Shannon had their own holiday party and invited everyone except me. And Taylor posted it and wrote hashtag dream team. Would you invite her to your birthday party? No. No. Why would I? No. You're from the Bronx, you know. We, and, we call, have, and then called me unprofessional because right. I didn't invite her to my birthday. I mean, like, are we in junior high? She, yeah, obviously. Yes. Are you and Emily okay? Yes. Okay. That's we were so just mistake. texting last night. She's so funny. She's on a cruise right now okay. with her kids, and it was hilarious. Anyway, yes. And speaking talking. of kids, you got two kids off to college, right? Yes. So what are you going to do? You think you're going to dip your foot back into the acting uh, world? You know, that's always been the goal. I, you know, I have four kids. Two are in college. The third is not far behind. She'll mm. be in college in two years. Mm. And then my youngest is in seventh grade. So, you know, I do see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, it's not tomorrow, but it's, you know, it's coming. It's coming. It's okay. coming. And I love the fact that at any age we can, you know, do something new or go back to things we used to do before we had our children or start an entirely new chapter. Of course, we're on strike right now. I will be on a picket line on Friday. Oh, you are going to be on. Absolutely. So let me ask you something. There's talk Bethany Frankel yeah. wants to unionize the reality TV stars. Where do you stand on this? Well, you know what? Um, as a union member, I think all of these kinds of conversations are very, very important. And I think Bethany is doing what Bethany does best, which is, you know, really serving the underserved and the underdogs. So would you, I know you're SAG-AFTRA, would you join a reality TV show union? I mean, you know, the answer always is, it depends. Right. Okay. Hey, listen, let's see. We got a clip of you from tonight. Okay, let's see. Heather Dubrow, in action. All right, let's see it. Don't you have concerns about Shannon and, like, what is happening there? I feel like we had such a precarious relationship for so long. And I've really, really enjoyed her friendship over the last, like, especially six months. Mm -hmm. I don't want to dive in there. Why bring up Shannon and John, but then actively not say anything about it? I feel like Heather is maybe sensing that she's gotten herself into trouble here, and all of a sudden, she wants to pump the brakes on this. Yes, I know a lot about Shannon's relationship, and, and a lot of the girls do. And if something comes up and we're talking about it, that's what we do. But there's a difference between talking talking about someone and talking against someone. And I'd rather not be a part of that. You're trying to take the high road. Well, isn't it interesting that everyone's saying, I'm talking about Shannon's relationship, but you notice on camera, I'm saying nothing. I know. But I know. everyone else is, so who's the friend? Obviously, you're the friend because you're not saying anything. I would think so. But not everyone would agree but, with that. But, you know, there's always so much drama on these housewife shows. And now there's another group. I know we just talked about unionizing uh, everybody. But there's another group who's suing Bravo 
And did you hear about no. this? No. They're saying that it's been very bad working conditions on these reality shows, that they basically force everybody to drink. They're claiming there's sexual claims. What? Is there a thread of tru truth here? Like, what's the story? I can only speak from my personal experience, and I will tell you that I have had a fantastic experience with Bravo, with E!, with NBC Universal. I mean, I, I am really proud to be a part of the franchise and grateful for what it's done for me and my family. And, and your husband's on a reality show, too. Yeah. He's on Botched. That's my boy. I have to tell you something. He's very good. I always I watch that show and go, oh, what happened to these people? I know. I'm really 84. <laughs> you are not. <laughs> I'm just wondering, what's it like being married to a plastic surgeon? That sounds like a dream. <laughs> right? Well, no, when I first got together with him, I said, you know, I don't know if this is going to work out because this is all real. <laughs> like, the, And they st it still is. It is. Yes. Nothing yet. No. Will you I'm do not against it. Well, he did don't. fix my, I, I had an umbilical hernia after yeah. the kids and all that. Right. So we fixed all that situation. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm not against plastic surgery. I think it's amazing. Right. And who knows? Leave the door open. But I'm trying trying to do everything I can in the non-surgical space to keep it all together. Well, you look fantastic. Thanks. You don't need to do anything, Heather. Thanks, I appreciate it. Anyway, uh, nice to see you. You too. Uh, we'll watch tonight, Real okay. Housewives of Orange County on Bravo. What time? It's on at 8 o'clock. Is that right? 8 o'clock. I yeah. think so. That's right in my wheelhouse, by the way. That's good. <laughs> okay, thank you.